when it comes to the Netherlands, we often talk about development. You may not be aware of the influence that the Dutch have on the world, but it is actually pretty insane. As said in an earlier video, the Dutch never sit still and they are constantly thinking about how to improve their country. The Netherlands have turned their small country into a big economy, which it is known for in the whole world. Everyone is aware of how well designed the Netherlands is. But did you also know that many big inventions, such as Wi Fi, were invented by Dutch people? I must admit, I didn't. Let's see what the Dutch have already done for the world in this insanely top seven of Dutch inventions that changed the world. 1. The first one we are going to discuss is the submarine. A submarine is a boat that can move underwater. It is mainly used for military purposes as the boat is untraceable underwater. It comes in handy when the army has to deal with extreme undercover missions, as the submarine can hardly be seen. In the Second World War, small submarines were often used to attack the enemies. Beside the small submarines, you also got the big ones. This one you definitely don't want to fight against, as it carries 12 to 24 big ballistic rockets and has nuclear propulsion. The submarine was invented by Cornelius Drebbel in the year 1620, where three men sailed underwater for three hours long. The funny and ironic thing is that Drebbel was actually born in a place named Verdunkenord, which in English means drowning place. Was this the reason that Cornelius Drebbel invented the submarine? Or was it just a coincidence? 2. You might know the famous movie, The Wolf of Wall Street with the famous actor, Leonardo DiCaprio. It's a movie about the stock market what involves a lot of money. But did you know that the Wall Street probably would never have existed without the Netherlands? The stock exchange was created in Amsterdam in the year 1602 by the trading company VOC. This is a company that was purely and solely engaged in trading. They did this all over the world. Of course shares were sold before, but in Amsterdam the first real stock market existed. This because people thought it was easier to have a central place for everyone to trade. Nowadays the stocks, and now crypto too, are a much discussed and popular topic. It can either cost you money, or you could be the new Bill Gates or even Elon Musk. 3. The next one is probably seen as one of the most important of this list, or should I say one of the most important inventions ever. You're probably using it right now. Wi-Fi. When you are in public, the thing you're searching for is free internet. And where would society be without it? No Instagram, no Facebook, no Netflix, and when you want to talk with someone, you need to meet the person in real life. Scary, right? Anyway, Wi-Fi was founded by Victor Hayes, also referred to as the father of Wi-Fi. He is responsible for the technology behind this standard, which has been in existence since 1997. Victor Hayes was born in the Dutch East Indies. In 1950 he came to the Netherlands and started studying electrical engineering, for which the world can still thank him to this day. Long live Wi-Fi. Right? 4. The next two are all about the sound of great music. Every human in the world needs music, whether you're listening to Metallica or you just like calm and relaxing music. It allows us to escape the busy world and to take a moment for ourselves. Now, we are familiar with AirPods and speakers, but back in the days it was a little bit more old-fashioned. I am talking about cassette tapes. A cassette is just like Spotify, only it is a little more complicated. A music cassette can be played with a cassette recorder, a cassette deck or a Walkman. Which you should see as putting a CD into a CD player. Now that you know what it means, we can move on to the invention. This imported development was invented by the big and well-known company Philips in the year 1962. Philips deals with all kinds of electronics. It is headquartered in the capital of the Netherlands, Amsterdam. Nowadays a cassette tape is more of a collector's item since Bluetooth is now used by people. Which brings us to the next one. 5. As I said, the next invention is Bluetooth which now is being used from all over the world. When the Dutch invented the cassette tapes, they were left with no other choice but to also invent the more developed versions. Which leaves us with Bluetooth. Bluetooth is simply a way of connecting devices at a short distance. Think about AirPods and speakers. 
Bluetooth is of great importance to the world. It ensures that you can listen to music everywhere in public without people being bothered by it. Bluetooth was invented by Yap Hartson, which by the way, is a very typical Dutch name. But that is not important now. It was invented in the year 1994, when the boss of Yap Hartson was looking for a cheap way to communicate through a radio link with phones and other devices. In the end Yap Hartson succeeded. The name Bluetooth refers to the Viking king Harald Bluetooth, Harald Blattend, who introduced Christianity to Scandinavia. And please don't ask me why, because I literally have no idea. 6. From music and submarines we go to the technology of the vehicles built on four wheels. Cars are now indispensable. Driving to work every day, to football on Saturday and taking the kids away in between. But if you're on vacation and you come to a dirt road, you'll be thankful for the four-wheel drive that is built into the car. First let me explain what it means. A system is used in which the engine power is distributed evenly over all four wheels. The main advantage of this is that you will have more grip on a slippery surface. The car is much more stable on slippery, but also on unpaved roads. It used to be used for trucks and jeeps, but nowadays it is also of great importance in rally races. For example, with the Dakar, which is a race that goes in severe weather conditions and on difficult unpaved roads, the four-wheel drive comes in handy. You can also reach a higher speed because of the balance on the four wheels. The inventor of this great development was Spiker. It was invented in the year 1903. So first it was only used for jeeps and tractors, but in 1980 it was also increasingly used for passenger cars. Now, I wouldn't say it is the most important invention, but certainly not the least. And still every car has it. 7. In number 6 we discussed the four-wheel drive, and it was said that you are faster because of it. Well in this one we are totally against the fact that you can reach higher speeds, because while in 1903 the four-wheel drive was invented, in 1958 the speed camera was invented by Mouse Gatsonites. What is funny, is that he was actually a rally driver, so especially with him, you don't expect him to lower the speed. A speed camera works with two lines. The camera watches how long it takes you to go from the first to the second line. When you're too early at the second line, you may risk a high price ticket. For many this was an irritating development, which is certainly understandable. But let's face it, it made the roads a lot safer overall. But I have to say that not everyone found it annoying. The Bench Seats, which is a group of YouTubers in the Netherlands, deliberately drove their car a little faster to take a nice picture. Nice right? Unfortunately, that was already the end of these amazing inventions that the smart Dutch people created. Thanks for watching, and for you here are two videos that explain the economics and culture of the Netherlands. See you in the next one.